Okay, so what I like to do to start off with is I like to set the container, you know, just to sort of set the energy for the session. Okay, hold on a sec, then something happened. Okay, there we go. Yeah, my, my little, like, my little green share dialogue was over the top of, you know, where I need to read, so. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Defender warriors of truth, sovereignty, and liberation. All guardian races serving the one. From across all the multiverses, we call upon you to join us now. Our unification principle deemed as demonstrated in the wave of Omni Love. We sound our group note to you now. Our group template updated individually and collectively renewed and forever perpetuated in the eternally sustained light. Our alchemical container is consecrated and dedicated to the purposes of one, and we endeavor to be the knower of God, to then be the way shower of God. Sustain us in the eternal power of our consecration. We have called for your gatekeeping in order to hold our community, our missions, our mutual highest purposes in service to the one light, our source, the living light code. Our, our, yeah, our intention is unification, the Christmas principle, as an energetic reality here and now. We request the handshake of our community to fortify our spiritual links through the universal cosmic triad and into the core of one the zero-point God matrix, that which is the source of our genesis. With deep reverence for all of life, dear God, breathe your life code into all created form. We set our intention now to be remembered to that which we are, fully, completely, and totally. To state our mutual purpose as one, resurrect all inorganic patterns to the organic living light, now and to that we say thank god we are the cosmic christ and so it is lovingly decreed and so we do acknowledge the organic forces of creation as we seek to know the highest truth of our soul for the highest good of our being and for all beings connected to us we hereby acknowledge that love and truth are always the power from which we read. The records are now open. And this is just my my own personal intention. So okay. I, I now ask my highest light councils to work in accordance with their highest light councils to bring through only accurate and organic information which is relevant to their earthly soul journey so that they may manifest their highest soul purposes within the matter realms and fulfill their soul mission. I regard all souls relegated to my care as God sovereign and free beings connected to the eternal nature of the Godhead and forever sustained in the diamond light of their original divine blueprint. I call upon the organic four corners to grid this session space into the eternal light of the Christos and ask the guardian forces to anchor this session space in service to the Law of One mission. Okay, so for the delight of reading, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's more organic. It feels more authentic if yeah. it's coming no, directly. It's really well phrased. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Mm. Okay, so for the galactic readings, I like to create what's called a soul profile. Because, like, my big thing is, like, just sort of honing in on what I feel is most important and what you most need to know. So, just, I like to kind of start off with pinpointing a soul group, just based on the information. And what I have determined is that you're an emanation of the solar, the solar rishi, which is, and here's an Here's a little description. It says the solar rishi are the first triad of light manifestations that make up 
the universal trinity that are projected from the emerald order, gold order, and amethyst order from the god source field, the threefold founder flame or the cosmic trinity. And I'm going to talk about your connection to these different orders a little later on. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I've determined that your star seed origin is from the Corvus constellation in the system of Algarab. So, okay, the Algarab fixed star is one of the 15 Bahamian fixed stars, and it's the third brightest star in the constellation of Corvus. And the name Algarab itself means the crow, with, you know, hence the, I guess, mm. the picture that I used, which is the symbolism often associated with the constellation. And souls who originate from Algarab are natural al alchemists and shadow workers. And they're here to be a way shower for others for how to embrace the darkness and how to step into their own personal power. <clears throat> and I've determined that, okay, your most recent, I guess, sort of starseed lifetime was in the system of Procyon. I mean, sorry, yeah. Okay, the system of Procyon in the constellation of Canis Minor. So, Pro Procyonian starseed are very rare just because of the nature of their mission, which tends to be more based in like physicality, the spiritual growth through physicality. And the race that's most involved with Earth at this time are known as the Gimbo, and they are pictured here. <clears throat> And so, okay, we all sort of begin as like a, a core soul essence. And what I've determined that is that, you know, you're a feminine soul essence. That's how you began. Mm. And obviously, you're more service to others oriented. Um, okay, so, okay, your, I see your soul mission is about. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, it's Sophianic repatterning, which is what a lot of us are here doing. Um, it's it's mainly based in like the reshape, the okay, the reshape level of embodiment, which is about returning the three primal sound fields to this universal time matrix. <clears throat> and as your as your primary oracle. As a Rishik being, you're carrying the Trinity Wave, which is the, you know, the aqua blue, the gold, and the violet magenta. So, okay, it says, the Christos blueprint is designed as a unity field form of embodiment. Thus, all architecture patterns and 12D code within the silicate matrix must be embodied as a Trinity Wave in order to return the Christos to the Earth. So, in order for unity consciousness to return to the Earth, it must be physicalized and embodied through the tritone pattern of the Trinity Wave. Um, the Trinity Wave is being projected from something known as the Fifth Harmonic Universe, which is located around 13D to 15D, which is stepping down the energies of these three base primal sound fields, you know, of the Emerald Order, Gold Order, and the Amethyst Order. Um, and sometimes called the Cosmic Trinity, and it's located in the Cosmic Founder God Domains in the 16th, 17th, and 18th dimensions. And this is a non-dimensionalized space-time known as the Transharmonic Universe. <clears throat> and so I like to discern the soul colors as well. It's just something, I guess it's just something fun for me to do. I just, it's just something that I enjoy doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I'm a I'm an indigo soul and I'm very visual, so. Oh, I am too. So I, I like colors a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, and obviously because of that, you know, you have the blue, you know, in your soul colors. Um, it's mainly like the colors associated with the different orders is what I see. You know, it's the the blue, blue green, the emerald green, the gold, and the violet magenta. <clears throat> And, you know, because you're carrying a core feminine essence, your particular source color is white. <laughs> okay, and I like to discern the, 
I guess, the karma percentage as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, and this is something that's kind of personal, so you can take it with a grain of salt. But this is just from my perspective. Mm. I see that you're carrying about 40, and this is all this percentage, it's out of 100. So uh, you're carrying 45% of collective karma, which means that's the majority, 25% uh, of personal karma, and 30% of ancestral karma. <clears throat> and your particular path of soul evolution is, you know, feminine, you know, and you're sort of evolving into the divine masculine expression. So, okay, it says that we as souls are both masculine and feminine. We each have a core essence. And this all harkens back to our split from source to experience creation as an individuated soul. Depending upon the core energy with which the soul emanates, they manifest the corresponding soul essence of either the masculine or feminine path of remembrance. And based upon the information in your chart, you are a core feminine soul expression, evolving into integration with the authentic divine masculine principle. And those with the feminine core soul essence are evolving into further integrated consciousness, which contains the core female expression blended together with the authentic masculine principle. And as an example, think of the Blu-ray consciousness. Systems which embody this balanced divine masculine energy would likely be their next incarnation if they're a star-seated soul. And potential points of future incarnation for them would be places like, you know, Ascended Orion, Procyon, Pegasus, or even Arcturus. <clears throat> and I like to kind of go through in Dallas on the potential human lifetimes on Earth. And, you know, a lot of what I get, you know, from, I guess, just from my own clients is that, you know, starseed souls don't have a lot of physical lifetimes on Earth. And I usually, you know, I usually get, it's no, usually no more than about 25. And in your case, it's, I'd say it's only about 5 to 10. Maybe 10 to 15, but. You know, definitely not any more than that. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm kind of, now I'm going to kind of get into the meat of the reading. So, okay, you, in these, this is sort of outlining a very particular connection that you have, which was what I used to determine your soul group. So, you have a very significant connection to your Jupiter. To the, to the Deneb Adige fixed star in the Cygnus constellation. So the Cygnus constellation serves as a solar Rishik stargate, which means it's a space for these energies to come through. And and I believe this is this is basically like your connection to this Rishik level of embodiment. And the Rishik are emanations of the first three primal sound guilds of creation and connected to the emerald, gold, and violet orders, and have only recently returned to this this particular universal time matrix. Okay, so mm, okay, so the supergalactic center is uh, okay. It's more than like what we would call in galactic astrology a cosmic point, and mm. for you, it's not okay. There's four of them, but like this is the only one that's like really significant or prominent. And so, okay, it says you have a very strong connection to the supergalactic center within your chart. And in this case, um, the, the, it usually manifests through the vein of relationships. Mm -hmm. And in, it can sort of manifest itself like a black hole where like, the soul is like seeking love from outside itself in order to fill a void. Mm -hmm. And I guess the goal with this is to sort of find the love within themselves first and then project it out. <clears throat> and, you know, because of your connection to the, to the solar regime, 
Um, you know, obviously you're part of the Christos family. Yeah. So that's basically what this is saying. Okay, so you have a very strong connection to the system of Rosalhog within the Ophiuchus constellation. So as an energy, the Ophiuchus constellation represents the unified energetic template. And in astrological terms, this means you're working to integrate all 12 zodiac archetypes in order to embody the energy of the 13th sign, which is represented by Ophiuchus itself. And this means you carry the energetic potential for full duality consciousness transcendence within your lifetime. It mean, basically means you have, you're carrying the unified template and you have the capability to go beyond the duality consciousness and sort of fully embody that within your lifetime. Okay, so these next few slides are going to be outlining your connections within your chart to the different to the different orders and different rays. Okay. okay, so the first one is your connection to the Emerald Order, which is coming through the Leo constellation, particularly the system of Regulus. So you have a significant connection to the system of Regulus in the constellation of Leo. And this system is linked to the Anuhazi Emerald Order beings uh, who have returned to this universal time matrix to herald the return of the Divine Feminine to the Earth. And as a Rishik being, you have a connection to all three different ray orders of the Emerald, Gold, and Amethyst, or Violet, which are coming through different star system links in your chart, which is basically what I was saying just a few minutes ago. Okay, okay, so these are a couple of systems that are sort of connected to the Gold Order. Which is the, the Aldebaran and the Taurus constellation, and Alnitag in the Orion constellation, and so you have a very you have a couple of very significant connections to the systems of Aldebaran and Alnitag, which I believe are showing your links to the Gold Order, um, and the Gold Order is connected to the avian based genetics, which are the Seraphim, the Avians, and the Athians. Uh, and this is your link to the 10th Universal Stargate, which is connected to the Gold Order and the family of Michael. So Gold Order beings are performing 10D Draconian Rehab. <clears throat> okay, so doo -doo -doo, this is your link to the Amethyst Order. It's coming through the system of Shiat in the Pegasus constellation. Okay, so you have very strong connections to the systems of Shiat and Markab within the Pegasus constellation, but in this case, Shiat is a little bit more prominent. So the Pegasian energy is connected to the 11th Universal Stargate, as well as the Amethyst and Violet Order, with their essential task and mission being related to 11D Fallen Angelic Rehab. This means that the Pegasian embodiment is part of the solar logos and connected to the royal houses of Lyra. And this is sort of outlining the, the Pegate, in particular, the Pegasian I guess, mission. Um, so, uh, da, 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 da. through the releasing of victimhood, the father energy of Pegasian starseeds is integrated in their path, it's brought full circle to reunite with their pure heart frequency. The Gazians are connected to a group of beings known as the Cedars, who help to seed and create life within the Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> okay, so you have quite a few. Links. The so. sexy smile. <laughs> yeah. Mm. No, I'm happy that it does. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay, so you have quite a few connections in your chart that would indicate you have you're carrying like dragon based DNA. So, okay, in particular, uh, the systems of Alphard in the Leo constellation and Duvan in Draco and Edmund in Draco. And basically, you're here to help restore harmony to the planet and restore the natural laws to the Earth plane through 
your link to the research target or the research level of embodiment. And this is the final. And then at the end, okay, after this, I'll do my closings you know, for this section. And then you can ask any questions. And then we'll move on to the shadow. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so. Okay, you have a few pretty significant connections to the system of Shadir within the Cassiopeia constellation. <laughs> and through my own experience, I've come to discover that this system is connected to the crystalline matrix, you know, the crystal matrix. And from my perspective, this means that the core of your energetic imprint is crystalline based, which is a bit, another big part of the reason why I determined that, you know, you're a reaching being. Okay, so I'm going to recite the closing prayer, my own version of the closing prayer. And I'm going to do my little invocation. And then you can ask any questions. <clears throat> okay, so. Okay, I would like to thank the guardian forces for their love and compassion. I would like to thank the lords of the Akashic Records for their point of view. And I would like to thank the Holy Spirit of Light for all knowledge and healing. I seal this session into the light of wholeness, unity, and truth. The records are now closed. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hereby lovingly restore all aspects of my true spiritual identity to all of my consciousness bodies through my star families of origin so that I may be fully present within the earthly experience and shine my light into the darkest corners of creation. I am the light that permeates throughout all worlds, all universes, all densities, and all dimensions. This light is my connection to home. I know that I am safe and loved, as home is always with me. Through this revelation, I know that I am never alone. I am God. I am sovereign. I am free. And so, it is lovingly decreed. <clears throat> Um, <laughs> do I just begin asking my questions? Yeah, well, if you have any. If you don't, we can just move on. I have, I do have a, a, maybe two or three. Okay, um, yeah. one, of, one of them was actually concerning that last slide about the crystalline bodies. And right, right. can you tell me a little more about that? Mm, well, the crystalline body is very different, obviously, to, you know, this, you know. It's more, let's say, it's more, say it's more, it's the, it's, I would say it's like the human as the original blueprint that we were created to be, you know, in, in perfect health. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I don't, I don't understand a lot of that, but it's come up um, yeah. <laughs> more like recently for me. Mm -hmm. uh, do, is there a, um do i just i guess how can i find out more about this kind of body type um i would highly recommend going to the ascension glossary ascension mm -hmm. glossary I'll, the ascension glossary that, that's what it is the ascension okay. this is where i get a lot of my information from okay yeah you'll find a lot down. of yeah You'll find a lot of information on the, you know, I guess the guardian level of embodiment, which is, you know, kind of what this is connected to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crystal. Was it the crystal matrix as well? Mm, yeah. There's some. There's a lot of information on the crystalline energy. Okay. I even. Uh... Mm, it basically, it's I even. Set up... Oh, sorry, it's, oh, it's set up like like a sort of like a Wikipedia. You can just search for what you want to find. Okay, because uh, the last few months I even mm -hmm. I swapped out my water with uh, crystallized water and other things <laughs> to try to clear my body more. So funny. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. And mm -hmm. um. Mm -hmm. Uh. 
I guess.、Uh, can you say any more about the the first place, the one with the crow? Hmm. This is a this is a I guess a system I don't come across very often, but basically,、oh, wow. yeah,、okay. the yeah, um, but basically Agarab is like, I guess within the context of the Starseed origin, it would indicate somebody who's a natural shadow worker. When you say shadow worker,、mm-hmm. uh, I guess. How- What does trans- that translate into transmutation or yeah, trans yeah, transmuter, a natural transmuter. Basically, you you can say you can take on like all these negative energies and sort of transform them a lot more easily than most people.、Uh, I guess it's no wonder I felt also some connection to when the way they describe blue rays because of that. Yeah.、Uh, Okay, and、uh, I guess my last question would just be, um, because、mm-hmm. you've had sort of like a more holistic view,、mm-hmm. do you have anything like uh, just, I guess from your perspective, from a more holistic holistic one, anything um,、mm-hmm. I guess from your point of view, uh, sort of like a summary or in a nutshell,、mm-hmm. bringing it all together. Mm. 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 Basically, okay. I'll just kind of put your soul mission into like a little bit of a summary. Basically, you're just here. You're here to return these these higher vibrational energies to the earth plane, <clears throat> which are coming through these different color. Rays or orders,、okay. and these different these different orders have different sort of different, like little subsets of missions. <clears throat> like I would classify the emerald as like the returning of the 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 feminine the returning of the feminine, <clears throat> and then like the gold order is about the draconian rehab, and then the violet order is about. The fallen angelic rehab. <clears throat> so basically, you're doing all of that at once. Okay, feminine. Yeah. Okay. So gold, like, it's almost like I guess rehabbing more masculine. Yeah, that's and... divine masculine rehab. Yeah. And, uh, and... Okay.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah,、uh, that's all the questions I have.、Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll go ahead and move on to the next. Oh, I'm sorry. I had、oh. one last one about dragons because I felt. Oh no, no, no.、Um, I felt that I. Oh, okay. Okay, I had to turn off my screen share. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, I did actually. There was a lot of like, keywords or things in your. Presentation that I really resonated with, and Dragon DNA is one of them. Yeah, I guess.、Um, I I guess I often see them depicted as really like low vibratory,、yeah. like、yeah. you know. Well, there are、stern. some, I'm sure, but yeah. And I'm actually Asian, so it's very、mm-hmm. interesting to me that the Asian perception is quite different of dragons.、Mm-hmm. And.、Um, Yeah, when I try to, you know, I've been reviewing a lot of Earth histories with the stars, and、uh, mm-hmm. there's a lot of most of the perspectives are from the Western point of view. Everything、mm-hmm. up till they have Vedic too, like,、uh, but somehow、mm-hmm. uh, there's、uh, there there's always missing information on the Chinese, especially the、mm-hmm. Taoists, who are very connected to the stars, and so I, um, I,、mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Is there it just there just seems to be missing information? I suppose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.、Uh, well, I guess I'm struggling to kind of like a lot of the Asian countries. A lot of、mm. the Asian countries, in particular, they're they're part of something called the Dragon Moth Grid, which is basically it's insu- basically ensuring that you know this part of the world will never reach below a certain frequency band. I guess I I guess from my perspective that would be、mm. why they have a different 
outlet on it. Oh, what did you, what was it called? The dragon. The dragon moth grid. Moth grid. Okay, um, I'll look it up. No, it's connected yeah. to uh, one of the points that I talked about, which is Alni Tack. Uh, mm -hmm. On the what? I'm sorry. Alni Tack. No, it's in the Orion constellation. Okay. Yeah, I just really haven't been able to find much info. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. 